The Singer Heavy Duty Sewing Machine has the perfect stitch for doing mending. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about you've got a rip in your fabric, your jeans have kind of gotten a little too much holes and you need to stitch them up a little bit. Um, maybe you bought something, didn't realize it actually had a rip somewhere, this is great. So first off, you do need to have something underneath the fabric that has the opening. Whether you put another piece of fabric, some interfacing, do something for it to create these stitches on top of. Matching your thread will be your next choice. And don't forget if you have the right needle, if you're working on something really lightweight, probably move to a smaller needle, something heavier, put a big needle in. Denim, put a denim needle in. Okay, next. The stitch you're looking for is the multiple point zigzag. So it's straight stitch, zigzag, and then the multiple point zigzag or three step zigzag. You also want to find the stitch length that doesn't, that keeps it so it goes close enough together that you don't have to go back and forth so many times. So I'm gonna start somewhere in the one stitch length. I also am probably gonna use the widest zigzag. So I'm gonna get as much coverage as possible. Let's put, um, oh, I was just doing a basting stitch. So let's put that zig uh, tension back to four. That's uh, be perfect. So let's say this is my opening. I tend to start kind of in the upper part and some place where I can kind of start to overlap. I'm gonna kind of zigzag down and then I'm gonna hold my reverse button and then I'm gonna zigzag back. And if I kind of do it at an angle each time, I'm gonna create some overlap and eventually cover all the area that the mending has to be. The stitches have to almost be recreated over the top of the fabric. So once again, we're just kind of pretending I have an opening, but watch what's gonna be, how it's gonna look. I'm also seeing if I've got my stitch length close enough. Oh yeah, definitely need to bring it a little closer. I'm gonna bring it down between zero and one, and you'll see the difference. Then when you wanna go back, hold the reverse button down, and then kind of maneuver the fabric so you're not just going over the top of the same exact row of stitches each time. So I'm gonna hold it down, work my way back. If it's a big rip, put your foot into it. Let's get this done. Come on back over the top. And if necessary, you know, oh, you could repeat uh, in an area that needs a little bit more reinforcing. But look, if you had matching thread, that is very, very secure. Just make sure that you really kind of get into the area where the fabric is not ripped. So you go a little further each direction and above and below that area. And now you can see why it's so important to have some fabric underneath it so those stitches have something to kind of grip onto and recreate that life that was there. And now it's gonna be held very well through future washings and wearings.